Did you hear about the call center that got replaced by an AI? They're calling it the most efficient way to get someone to say, I want to talk to a human. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Caffeinated CX, where we talk about customer experience and stuff all in a hyper-caffeinated state. I'm David, the Caffeinated CXO, and I'll be your host today on Caffeinated CX. Yeah, and uh, forgive me if I maybe sound a bit weird. Um, I have the either the beginning or the ending of a cold, and my throat is a little scratchy. And that's okay. There's a lot of it going around, I guess. I guess that's the thing that we're doing right now in the second month of 2024. So if, uh, you know, I sound a bit scratchy or if it sounds like I'm trying to breathe soup, now you know why. So today we're going to talk about AI. AI. AI, AI, AI. It seems like that's all we've heard about for the last year and a half, maybe two. And, uh, yeah. I mean, everybody's saying, everybody's warning, everybody's afraid that AI is going to take over customer service jobs, right? AI is going to revolutionize the call center and save you from paying those overhead expenses, all while providing customer experience, a good customer experience. And if recent events have been any indication that is so far from the truth that it's probably still, given everything that's been going on lately, at least six months away, right? Before that's actually a thing. So today we're going to talk about why humans are irreplaceable in customer service and especially in call center jobs and why AI and automation tools should be seen as well tools to enhance and augment not replace humans so let's begin customer interactions are anything but simple they are often intricate and nuanced, requiring human empathy, understanding, and creativity to navigate effectively. All right, so take, for example, if you will, a customer who has a negative experience with a product. An AI may offer standard solutions based on whatever keywords they put in, but a human agent can go a bit deeper. They can empathize with the customer's frustration and find a personalized solution that truly addresses their needs, right? Sometimes when a customer has a complaint, all they want to do is be heard. They want to be understood. They maybe don't want to have a chat bot. I don't know. That's weird. Human workers excel in their ability to empathize with customers. They can connect on a deeper level, showing understanding and emotional intelligence, especially in situations where customers are upset, frustrated, or just seeking some reassurance. For instance, imagine the customer who has been waiting for a delayed delivery or a delayed service, right? Uh, that human agent can offer sincere apologies, express empathy for the inconvenience caused, and potentially offer a gesture of goodwill such as a discount or a gift card. This human touch can go a long way in turning a negative experience into a positive one. They can fix the experience in the experience, and it actually is human. It doesn't come from a generative AI which may hallucinate or it may be um, like what they what that one company saw where the uh, guy was chatting in it and it made it swear and write a haiku about how bad that cus that company was so you're not gonna find many humans that will do that hopefully 
So now another area where humans right now outshine AI is in problem solving and adaptability. Humans can pivot and tackle new challenges creatively, an essential skill in the dynamic field of customer service. Imagine that. For example, let's say a customer prevent, uh, presents a unique issue that AI cannot resolve. A human agent can think outside of the box, explore alternative solutions, and provide a resolution that satisfies that customer. Building lasting customer relationships is a forte of human agents. It's something they excel at, something that AI can't really do right now. They can forge connections over time, offering a personalized experience that fosters customer loyalty. And remember, CSAT is BS. Customer loyalty is everything. Consider a customer who frequently shops at a retail store. A human agent who recognizes the customer's preferences and shopping history can offer tailored recommendations, creating a personalized shopping experience that keeps the customer coming back. Much better than going to a kiosk, right? So, especially like, let's say, you, you know those regulars that go to like Starbucks or McDonald's or something? They always order pretty much the same thing and they know everybody by name and the employees know them. Where does the kiosk go from there, right? What What's a kiosk going to do that a human worker can't do? That's crazy. So humans also excel in handling exceptions and edge cases, which are commonplace in customer service. If you've ever worked in customer service, you know this. If you've never worked in customer service, please don't be in the customer experience field. Uh, <laughs> um, AI and automation tools may struggle with those things, right? But human workers can leverage their judgment to address them effectively. So if a customer requests a refund for a product that is outside the standard return policy, human agent can assess the situation, consider factors such as the customer's loyalty and the reason for the return, and make a decision that is fair and reasonable and is a win-win for both the customer and the company, right? You're not going to really find that with a chat GPT chat bot, right? So additionally, human agents, human beings, human workers, human employees embody the brand's values and personality, enriching the overall customer experience and shaping the brand's perception. This human touch is difficult for AI to replicate convincingly. It can replicate it. It can emulate it. But it's not realistic. It sounds, if anything, forced or sarcastic. The human touch is difficult for AI to replicate convincingly. And that is 100% true. So, you want your customers to be able to reach out to your company and be greeted by a warm, friendly voice that actually wants to help. AI doesn't want to do anything. AI is there. Boom, it does what it's programmed for, right? You have to find human employees that want to help and that can help. That personal connection can make all the difference in how you perceive the brand. So, while AI and automation can enhance efficiency and manage routine tasks, human workers are indispensable for managing complex interactions, building relationships, and providing the empathy and creativity needed for exceptional customer service. The optimal approach here is to leverage the strengths of both humans and AI to achieve the best outcomes in customer service and call center and retail jobs. Right, The best way of using AI and automation is to simply use it as an augmenting tool for your human employees. So th those are things like agent assist, uh, speech analytics, uh, QA, right? You can have self-service options that are definitely AI. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly acceptable. People will do that, right? They'll go to that, which frees up the human beings to focus on more complex 
issues and help build rapport and build loyalty with your customers. So the joke I told at the beginning of this is true. Have you ever dealt with a chatbot? I had to do it the other day. I got like two minutes in and I was like, okay, all right, buddy, send me to a human. And thankfully this company still had humans that could take over the chat. So, I don't know. AI is not there yet. And I don't know if it'll ever be or if it ever should be. That's the, that's the other thing. So, I don't think there's any replacing human empathy and human, uh, human ingenuity, right? Or human caring, for that matter. Humans can care about other humans. And AI doesn't care about the customer not really and if one does start caring about a customer they're probably going to shut that thing down real quick if you get my drift i've seen plenty of movies where that happens so that's today's episode if you got anything out of it if you liked it blah 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 if you like the joke at the beginning go ahead and uh, subscribe like comment share the show so we can make the show grow and i'll see you guys next time bye (laughs) 